Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Dino and we back with another video. Guys, I have an announcement to make. 10k subs, man. Thank you guys so much. If I could, you know, do something special, I would, but I'm just so busy. I haven't had time to do anything for the channel. Um, I'm just starting to get a Discord set up. Uh, it's a lot of work as well. But yeah, thanks guys. Please stand by for further details. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. We got some cool clips from all over the world. So let's check them out. This guy's straight up living in the future. He's using a Quest 3 VR headset while fixing his car. He's got three different screens up virtually. Looks like he's got a YouTube tutorial, a text document, and then maybe another forum or another tutorial. He's able to move the screens virtually right above the car so that way he can easily look at the screen of the tutorial and then follow the instructions right in the car right there. Now, yeah, that's pretty this cool. Is just a demo, but this really gets the wheels turning in terms of what's going to be actually possible with AR and VR in the very very near future I personally don't have any VR or anything yet but stuff like this is making me super excited for it what do you think is VR going to be the future is everyone going to be living like this let me know in the comments down below so I use VR I have a quest um, it's really useful dude you can like turn on AR mode and like you could do stuff in the real world while having like all these screens everywhere it's, it's pretty cool man they're using these things to like advance technology and in the medical industry, um, artwork. There's, there's so many things you can do with it. But yeah, I think that in the near future, pretty much everybody will have some form of like lenses or glasses or something. <laughs> Hello? He's just like, hello? He let it in the house. He's like, nope, I'm gone. <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. I'd have run out the front door, probably. This lady was at the border right here. And look what's uh, Just watch. Okay, so this right here is Mexico. This right here is the bridge that leads to the United States. And that right there, the, the bridge is lined up with Russians that are trying to get into our country, right? And so there's tents all along this bridge right here. And the most insane thing out of all of this is we are experiencing 20 degree weather and these people are sleeping outside in tents. Is that not insane? And if you can see right over here, it looks as though um, on the Mexican side, they have like a table set up with like water and coffee they feed them breakfast and so that's what you'll see that's what you see right there so for breakfast lunch and dinner mexico is feeding the russians and check this out crazy. and it goes all the way up the bridge like that it's crazy i mean i don't really know what to say about that um i don't i don't know what nationality they are you as the poster of the video know either um it's just people that are not u.s citizens trying to get into the u.s the hole would be small how big would the hole be that you have to drill and then replace with this piece it's only one hole yeah the device we're working on right now is about it's about an inch in diameter, um, and your, your skull's pretty thick, by the way. So skulls are mine is for sure. <laughs> it might actually literally be. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you're a big if you're a big guy, your skull is actually 
fairly thick. Um, skulls like is like seven to fourteen millimeters. Mm. Um, so well, that's probably a couple of inches. A half inch, you know, <laughs> half inch thick skull ish. <laughs> yeah, you basically implant the device. Uh, and so it would be like a one inch square, or uh, one inch in diameter. Yeah, like a so an inch circle, like a circular. Yeah, I think like a like a smartwatch or something oh. like that. Or okay, yeah. So what do y'all think about that Neuralink stuff, man? You know, they finally got one installed in a person, and apparently it's functioning and stuff. Um, we don't know much other than that, but it's pretty wild to think you need to, like, put a hole in your head. Uh. The 808. The 808 is known to trap you, trap your soul. The 808 is this deep bass, and the vibrational frequency of the 808, it keeps you locked into your root and your sacral chakra. And it's so addictive because it's sexually stimulating to the body. So people be listening to the music and they say it's not necessarily the lyrics, it's the beat. You are sexually stimulated by the beat you listening to. And that's why you put it on replay because you got to keep hearing it. Yeah, and you, yeah, don't, yeah. you don't realize you're getting a release of oxytocin and dopamine from this and it's sexually stimulating you. You think you just like the beat because it sounds good. No, it sounds good to your whole entire body. Yeah. And so, yes, music, it can be used as a weapon. They have something called sound weapons, DARPA. DARPA out of the USA creates that. something. Yeah. It's called the energy sound weapon. And they mm -hmm. used it over there in Afghanistan where they would turn on a certain frequency frequency and turn it up as loud as possible it makes your ear bleed mm. it, it gets you very confused it have you foaming at the mouth and it can bust your heart you can google really? it right now it's called a direct energy sound wave weapon and it sits on top of a truck and whenever they want to disperse a crowd because they use the same thing in ferguson i'm from st louis i'm yeah, from yeah, ferguson yeah. they use that on us in ferguson during the riots man you would point that mug towards a crowd and turn it up and it will it, it gives you this type of frequency that your ears are not used to hearing because remember we only hear within a certain range and yeah. see within a certain range once you go outside of that field it's very very distortive to the body wait a minute this is what Kanye was talking about. And then the algorithm, you know what I'm saying? The 808, the 808 exists in the lowest chakra of your body. The majority of content that's related to the 808 is killer or sexual content. The original 808s was even off pitch. So that meant it's an actual sound in the track that you don't realize is there that is fucking up your entire frequency. Right. And now, today, every time I hear a car come out, it's 808. But if you think about African music and hip hop and what we was breaking to, break dance to, it was light. The percussion. It was upbeat. Yeah. It was the drums. Yeah. Now it's like, and all of this is a bigger. And it's like, man, you know, at this point, it's like, they should have killed me when I said George Bush don't care about black people. <laughs> oh, man. Kanye's been on one for a while. He ain't like. I can't tell if what he's saying is just schizo or if it's real because I'll be damned if like half of it ain't just looking like it's really there. <laughs> it's a big kitty. It's not scary. No. <laughs> Alright, tell me I'm on fucking crack. Like every time I turn off the light, there's like a shadow in there. Watch. You see that? What the fuck? Oh, that was a little think weird. I'm crazy. First time I'm here by myself. There's a picture. I mean, at first I thought it was the shelf. Oh, snap. <laughs> that guy, man. 
That last guy's been going through it. This is why you should never walk your pets near the water's edge. They resemble small animals that are an alligator's natural prey. Alligators can reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour on land. In the water, an alligator can reach a top speed of 20 miles per hour. <laughs> Raccoons are so funny, man. These things will turn belly first, the, the saucer type looking ones. And then that's the high speed mode because they, they focus uh, allegedly, you know, these gravity wave amplifiers. Mm. Look, this thing turns mechanically. There, again, no typical form of propulsion, as an expert is telling you. This is not a glitch. This is seen by multiple radars, multiple people. Commander Fravor was so close to it. This is something that is not aerodynamic, and it could move in ways and fashions. When he's underplaying it, when we first talked, the idea of this thing going, bup, 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 it's instantaneous acceleration back and forth. There's no slowing down, no turning like a ping pong ball. He said to me, our first talk, ping pong ball in a, gl in a glass. Nothing moves like that with traditional reactionary propulsion. Somebody has technology that we don't have in our inventory at all. Right, but then, but then we have to go back to the Bob Lazar stuff and how he said that the technology that they're able to create now using Muscovium uh, creates its own gravitational field. And while you're within that gravitational field, um, general gravity from here or outside of it does not affect you as the uh, person inside. So there's your answer to that. I don't know that I would be going to bars and having those conversations if I worked for Raytheon. Especially saying things like, even if it's children, like, nah, bro, like, just, nah, bro. I don't, I don't like that person. This is Turkmenistan, a beautiful country in Central Asia that borders Afghanistan, Iran, and Kazakhstan. Despite this beautiful architecture, these beautiful city streets, this city is mostly empty. Despite it looking like a tourist oasis, this is one of the least visited countries. Visiting there is no easy task to come by. It's quite expensive, you have to get a tour group, and the whole time you are strictly supervised and monitored in a guided tour. Even more so is the case if you want to move there. Acquiring a green card next to impossible. You have to know somebody, and it's a very, very lengthy and expensive process. Having one of the fifth largest natural gas resources in the world. It was set up until recent times. Turkmenistan provided free energy to all of its people. And it makes you wonder, looking at some of this architecture, 
It's looking like futuristic free energy tech right out of the old world. And the stunning and geometric patterns continue on to the layouts of these buildings. Just take a look at it in Google Earth. You will be blown away by the intricate detail and sophistication and designs that went into these layouts. Our Western media tells us it's ran by a dictator with the history of human rights violations. But with the track record of our Western media and the limited information going in and out of Turkmenistan, who's to say if that can really be trusted? Perhaps they lay intentionally closed off from the rest of the world because they are one of the last vestiges of the great civilizations of the old world, hidden away in the middle of the desert, a truly beautiful green oasis. Question everything, friends. Until next time. All right, so look, I do question everything. I'm not, I'm not really going to question that, but I do question everything because I go on Google Earth and I go on these apps uh, in AR, VR, where um, I go to countries overseas and I see cities that look amazing, but there's no one outside. There's like a bunch of the same kind of car and like a whole, it's just really confusing, man. And like, I do see places entire cities entire places like just huge places all over google earth that just the architecture is is awesome and in those same places like i said there's just no one outside hardly and like no cars and it just doesn't look like anyone's living in those places so i don't know man Ooh. Lucky. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh shit. super cool but those sharks are usually really like they don't care if you're there they don't really pay attention to you and they don't bother you unless you try to hurt them year for aliens how do i know they're telling us what are they trying to tell us internal pentagon report warns america is unequipped to defend itself from an alien invasion and that was shortly after their okay. classified intelligence meetings on aliens and ufos but you need to be very wary about these insiders and whistleblowers that are coming out because there's a common theme with all of them and every single one of them will tell you that they're creatures from a different planet some even say that we fought them on the moon on the moon you get it it's crazy now we've already talked extensively about what these creatures are but there's a lot of people that say how come they're only in america let's clear that up right now this right here is in Belgium. And they're moving too. Wait till you see the scattered lights in front of it. And this right here is in Chile. And people will say it's Project BB. Let me tell you, they don't need Project BB for things that already exist. And there is so much evidence they already exist, even in our own declassified documents from our own governments. In Bulgaria, we have one that's literally being chased by a jet or some kind of airliner. I'm going to zoom it in real big right here. And besides countries, how about right by the moon? There's been so many that show a UFO or an orb or some sort of thing by the moon.
And with the Greys comes the great deception that most of humanity is going to fall for. And because the Greys are going to show us all these wonders and these miracles and all this hidden history, they're going to say, look, we are your gods. And people are going to believe them and they're going to show us our God with what y'all think this is in the first place. Every bit of it comes with the Antichrist deception. And if you can't tell by looking at the world, that's what time it is right now. What do y'all think about that? He's talking a whole lot of stuff. Anyways, yeah. Um, most like 70-80% of the uh, UAPs and UFOs, whatever, are um, man-made. Uh, whether they be reverse engineered or just completely new technology that we created. Um, I, I think that they're man-made and that we're not really uh, capable of controlling that kind of tech, that kind of tech yet. So because of that, we end up with uh, people filming them training and doing exercises. And yeah, sure, there might be some other things, but I think that most of the sightings that are actually seen are uh, advanced hidden military or private sector technology very strange about magnetics i need you to buckle up for this one now magnetic fields are in the shape of a torus which is just a fancy word for donut and we can see that in the ferrocell and we can see it when these iron flakes are flying around this magnet on a chain you can see how the energy flows cool why does this matter this is how the planet protects itself from the sun when it tries to fucking attack us, it shoots these angry balls of energy at us, and the magnetic field gets bent when it interacts with it. Now, when these magnetic field lines connect again, they go back into the poles of the Earth through that toroidal shape, and then that's how we get the auroras. Now, the interaction of these creates these magnetic hotspots on the planet, and we call these ley lines. Now we can see this with the new satellites that we have. It gives us a very clear image of all these little points where they're at. Now the weird thing is our ancient homies built their structures on hot spots on the planet. And they accidentally built them in the same shape that can harness all of that energy into a fine point. I don't know about accidentally. Around the structure. Now they accidentally created a giant alternator and if only they knew what shape could harness that energy you know imagine the stuff they could do i don't think they did it by accident i think that they did know stuff, man. let me tell y'all something i don't think you understand this is an illusion they don't give a fuck how many conspiracies you talk about they don't care if you uh riot in the street they don't care if you riot on instagram they don't give a fuck. They're here to program your subconscious mind. How do you program the subconscious mind? Trauma, repetition, symbols. Those are the three ways to program the subconscious mind. And from there, the subconscious mind simply produces what it thinks is real. So what do you think is real? My brother? What do you think is real? All of the ancient texts talk about this. They say the world is an illusion, and you think they you think it's a metaphor. Don't get rocked to sleep. What now. is the No, uh the world is definitely an illusion. 100%. I mean, if you don't believe me, um just go look at the biology on how our eyes work and then try and tell me that everything is not just an illusion. The dimensional portals are real. Watch this. Construction workers are underground working on a government building project. Inside what seems like an ordinary tunnel, something incomprehensible happens that none of them have ever seen before. It's as if the tunnel has come alive and it's breathing. The tunnel seems to move as a cloud, repeatedly and very suddenly, appearing and disappearing. Workers who witness it are terrified including Juan Antonio Sanchez. La tierra empezó a rugir como de un león. Eso produce mucho mucho temor porque en cualquier momento no creía que el túnel se podía derrumbar o que podía temimos, temimos mucho por nuestras vidas.
footage of the weird pulsing energy baffles scientists. There's also this booming sound that's associated with it. Is this dangerous? Is the whole thing going to collapse? What the hell's going on here? Physicist Chad Orzel reviews the footage and considers an incredible theory. There's a very regular pulsation, so it seems like something must be controlling. If you were going to imagine an intergalactic portal to a distant galaxy, this is what it would look like. Many physicists are convinced they exist, but nothing like it has ever been filmed. A wormhole or stargate is considered by some to be a possible future means of interstellar travel. These kinds of wormholes are frequently used as ways to travel interstellar distances in space. Uh, they show up in the movie Stargate, they show up in the movie Interstellar as long distance travel arrangements. So this seems like a really great idea. Stargates and wormholes sound like science fiction, but some of the greatest minds in science believe they might be possible. Introduced by Albert Einstein himself in 1935, a wormhole is a shortcut, a subway system connecting two distant points in space and time. Yeah, no, 100%. I believe that there are ways to uh, affect a gravitational field to cause what is a wormhole. Uh, I do believe it's possible after all of the reading research and stuff I've done and all the lectures I've watched over the years, I do believe it's possible. Um, I could never even fathom how you would recreate that event though. Copy that. Last clear, 7th, go ahead. Alpha, you at 3 o'clock high. This is Houston, say again, 7th. Alpha, you at 3 o'clock high. Oh, it's I, but here's the beat, Alpha. It's just the enemy tagging along with us. Hey, uh, Houston, uh, we got uh, we got somebody out the front window with a pair of binoculars and a uh, zoom lens. We're trying to get a pretty. It's really cool looking, uh, but is that real footage? Like, can somebody in the comments let me know if that's actual footage from that mission? Please stop sharing this image. It is not real, it is AI generated. While it is essential to share the reality of what is happening on the ground, misrepresenting AI generated images as reality can erode trust and credibility and desensitize us to the reality of what is truly happening. And this ends up harming the cause more than helping it. So before you share an image or a resource, try to authenticate it by finding the original creator. Or look for AI distortions like these to check for odd visual markers. Yeah, that's becoming a huge problem now is uh, AI video and AI pictures. Um, they're starting to become indistinguishable from reality. But if, if you noticed in that, there's like here, there's like all of this stuff wrong with it. Like, look at the left shoulder. Look at around the neck. Yeah, like just all of this. Like, that's very obviously AI. But uh, we're at a point now where it's way better than that. An incredibly powerful technology weapon that they themselves could not create, but they happen to be co-located with the technologists who created it by accident. Is it shocking that more people don't understand how dangerous that is? No. I think some people understand. Um, some people do. Some people understand. Um, 
So, I mean, from the standpoint of, of the, some of the people who used to be at Twitter, uh, the people were like, well, it's a, a big shift to the right. That is correct. It is a shift to the right because everything is to the right if you're far left. Everything is to the right. But it's but how many far left people have actually been suspended or, or banned from, from Twitter now X? Zero. So it's really just moved to the center, but from the perspective of the far left, it is, it's moved to the right. It's like everything's relative. All right, Elon. Are newly arriving immigrants really receiving $5,000 visa gift cards from the government? No. All right. Pay attention to this. A question that's been causing quite a stir in recent days. Unfortunately, for those who love a good scandal, this claim is nothing more than a xenophobic myth. A piece of misinformation that when examined under the microscope of fact-checking, unravels like a cheap holiday sweater. The origin of this myth can be traced back to a certain Pinal County Sheriff, Mark Lamb. The claim that all migrants to the United States receive prepaid debit cards loaded with $5,000 was propagated by him on Fox News and social media. The motive behind this? A donations page for his Senate run. But here's where it gets interesting. This misinformation didn't spring from nowhere. It was first spun by anti-migrant propagandist Todd Benzman and later amplified by representatives Lauren Boebert and Matt Gates. a classic case of whispers becoming shouts. However, when the Washington Post and the Associated Press took a closer look, they quickly debunked these claims. Despite this, Lamb continued to repeat these false statements on various media platforms, a testament to the power of narratives, especially those that Look, you guys haven't seen me playing that guy's content that he has online um, because there's just so many things he's saying that um, they don't math. <laughs> so, like, if you don't know who this guy is, just I suggest, you know, going and looking it up and stuff. Don't just take this for what, you know, it says. Go look for yourself. But so far, this has been true, this video. Feed into existing biases and prejudices. Right-wing media personalities uncritically accepted Lamb's assertions, and Lamb's comments were picked up by far-right sites and spread on social media. This highlights the dangers of misinformation and the irresponsible spread of unverified facts. But what does this all mean? In a nutshell, it's a cautionary tale about the power of misinformation and the importance of fact-checking. It's a reminder that not everything we read or hear, even from individuals in positions of authority, is necessarily true. It's essential to question, to probe, to fact-check information, especially when it feeds into divisive narratives. It's not just about debunking myths, it's about promoting responsible sharing of information. Remember, a lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is putting on its shoes. So. Let's make sure the truth gets a head start. In conclusion, no, immigrants are not receiving $5,000 handouts from the government. That's a myth that's been repeatedly debunked. The importance of fact-checking cannot be overstated. In an era of fast-paced information sharing, it's crucial to verify before we amplify. Thank you for watching. I like the message in that. I like the message. Going into a totally different dimension by raising the frequencies and vibrations of the earth we will shift into a new dimension and this is the greatest show on earth because they said all the beings and all the universes are watching because this has never happened to any in any year of universe anywhere that an entire planet will shift into a new dimension and when this happens it's like two earths as though they split the old earth is left behind with all the negativity and all the chaos and the new earth separates and it will be totally new and beautiful. Now those who have raised the vibrations and frequencies of their bodies will shift into the new earth. And a lot of this is happening right now. A lot of people are feeling this in their bodies because they are having physical symptoms they can't explain. This is happening as the body shifts and changes the vibrations and frequencies of the body. 
The frequencies can't be changed immediately because it would be too damaging to the body. The body couldn't handle it. It would it would die. So it has to be done in. So it sounds to me like um, another explanation of uh, as above, so below, heaven and hell. Um, how many more examples should I have to bring up? There's something pretty scary. In fact, according to the World Economic Forum, it poses the greatest risk for our society in 2024. All right, here it is. Do you know what it is? And no, it's not sugary soda. It's things that seem real that aren't. Because this photo behind me was AI generated. And if I said it was real, that would be misinformation. What's crazy is how good Midjourney and other AI tools have become at creating images that look so realistic that you just might believe them. This isn't a problem for images like this, but it is for images of political figures or celebrities or well-known locations. Now, for now, there are ways to detect if an image is AI. In this image, this cup is an odd shape. I don't know what's going on with this woman's hand. His hands are also suspect. But AI has gotten so advanced over the past year that it's not going to be long until faults like this go away entirely. And although Photoshop has always existed, creating crazy photos like this is no longer a niche skill set. There's already been an explosion in false information circulating around the internet because of AI image generation. Thankfully, some regulations are starting to be rolled out, sort of. But we're still a long ways away in terms of anything major, I think, happening in terms of regulation, which is concerning because obviously it is an election season in a number of countries. But all this to say, if you see something on your feed and it rises an emotion in you before you share and react please do some extra research stay vigilant and yes check your feed folks the importance of doing your research because as i said you know we have this ai stuff you can't really tell the difference anymore we got things like mid journey leonardo ai shoot we got voice replicators like uber duck and stuff like that uh, SVT, you know, there's just so many things. How do you think people are still making music from artists that are no longer around with completely new? They're using Uber Deck and stuff like that, man. Like, I'm telling you. Um, and it does not take a lot of skill to use these things. You just read the instructions and go. Right here is common knowledge for a lot of people. For a lot of people, it's not. Chester Bennington, you know, the singer from Lincoln Park, right? Mr. John Podesta. Up here, you got Lawrence Rockefeller, Podesta at the top, Chester Bennington. If that doesn't look like three generations, I don't know what does. Right. The story is that Podesta, he's one of these high political elite guys. Allegedly, there's a videotape of him doing something bad to a kid. And it's like, say what they called me in Washington. And the kid goes, Skippy. And that's like, that was a recording that was released and it's all alleged people, but y'all think about these things. And old Bennington right here, check out the lyrics to his song. And they're farming babies while the slaves are all working and it's on the table, the mouths are choking, I'm growing hungry. He did this right here with Chris Cornell. If y'all listen to these songs, it, it's, it's pretty crazy, man. This is his alleged real father. This is supposed to be like his real dad, but Allegedly, he's Podesta's son. That's how the conspiracy goes. And he was coming out with a documentary on, you know, bad stuff happening to people, basically. And it was going to reveal a lot of things. Then he wound up getting Epstein, allegedly. So, just saying, man. Yeah, no, that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty crazy right there. Like, look more into jester and stuff please guys i know you may not like like new metal lincoln park you might not like some of the kind of music that i play in the videos and whatnot but like look into this stuff it's it's uh it's a little scary but uh the knowledge is there to be found so like look into this stuff this is insane That's crazy. Wow. 
wild, dude. I've never seen nothing like that. That's crazy. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, that's all we got for today, guys. So we're gonna call it and drop another one in the archive. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for all the support so far. Hey, you guys are the best. And I hope you have a great rest of your morning, day, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be for you. I'll see you next time. Peace. Now I